Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about a concept called jogging in a motor control circuits. What is jogging? So jogging is nothing but achieving a small movement by operating the switch for a small time period. So by operating the switch for a small time, so you are going to make the motor to run for a short time period so that you will achieve the small movement which is required to align the position or uh, you know uh, kind of operations okay so let us see uh, how it is achieved and before that so we use two words jogging and inching the jogging is used mostly when you connect the motor across the line so that is a direct online and inching is used mostly when we are using a reduced voltage starters let us see how it is achieved the jogging is achieved using different circuits. So here I have a control circuit for controlling the three phase induction motor or three phase motor. Uh, it is a very simple circuit here. I have a stop push button and a start push button here. And the start push button is used for a normal operating normal operation. And I have also jog switch here. So when I operate the run switch here, what is going to happen? The current uh, flow takes place through the switch and the contactor here is going to get energized. So this contactor contacts will be uh, connected with the motor and so that the motor will be uh, running, right? So when the magnetic contactor or magnetic starter here is getting energized, the contact here will be closed like this so that the latching takes place through this path. Now, if you remove the and from the switch here, also the power flow uh, continuously going through this latching contact the magnetic starter so that the motor keep running. So this is called latching or holding, right? So this is a normal operation. So our concern is not about it. Uh, our concern is about the jogging operation. So for jogging, so what we are going to do, we are going to have an alternate current path, which is shown here in this blue color uh, line. So when you want to jog or when you want to achieve the jogging, so you are going to operate this particular switch. So by upon uh, by uh, pressing this switch, what is going to happen here? The contact will be disconnected and uh, the contact will come down like this and it closes the path here. So when the path is closed here, the current flow reaches to the magnetic starter and the magnetic starter is going to energize. And because of that, the magnetic contactor uh, contacts will be closed. So the motor will run until you press this jog switch. If you release this jog switch automatically, again, it will open the circuit here like this so that the current flow will stop for the magnetic starter so that the magnetic starter will open the contacts so that what happens, the motor goes to off state. So how much time you press the jog switch, that much time only the motor will run and when you release this the motor will go to off state so by doing this you can able to achieve the small movement in the motor so mostly used for aligning purpose okay so this is one a simple circuit to achieve the jogging so i have another circuit which is used also for the same uh, purpose with a little modification i have the stop switch and run switch and I have the contact contactor, but here the con the latching uh, the place I have connected this jog switch so that when you operate this run switch, what happens? The motor will run in a normal condition. So because uh, we are not going to operate the jog switch while uh, normal operating condition. So by uh, pressing this run switch, so the current will flow through this and uh, the latching will take place here. So this will close. So after uh, re uh, removing the and from your uh, start switch, so the current flow continues to flow through this path. Okay, so this is a normal operating condition. So during jogging uh, operation, what is what is going to happen? So we are going to operate this switch here so that it will come down like this and it will make a circuit path here. So the current flow passes through this blue color line so that the motor runs until you press the jog switch. And also it ensures that when you are in the jog mode, it is not going to operate in a continuous mode also. You see when you press here, it is breaking the latching so that the motor will not run 
continuously if you release if you release the and automatically it will go to the off state so this is a, another a method of doing the same thing okay so jogging is achieved with the added use of control delay so this is also possible to do it with another control delay so let us see how it is being achieved so here we have a stop switch and a start switch and we have a control relay and by operating this switch as i said it will close here so the control relay will energize so because of that the contactor here contact will get closed so because of that the latching takes place through this way and if you release the hand from the start switch still the current will be flowing through this and the control relay is in on condition and the control relay is giving the uh, supply here through this control contact okay so the main contact will be non condition so because of this main contactor the motor will be connected so this is all about normal operating condition during jogging so what is going to happen so we are going to operate only the jogging switch which is placed here so this is the jogging switch which is placed here so what is going to happen when i press this one so the path for the main contactor is going to get closed like this and this main contactor is going to connect the motor to the supply if i release this and from this jog switch or if i if i release the jog switch automatically the power to this main contactor will be off so when this is off then motor will be disconnected from the supply so this is also the another method of doing the jogging circuit